Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray's Aerospace Lay Station Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. As you can see, we do not have a regular station module this time. It is time to put our station to use, hopefully. And so we have a space plane, one that hopefully can operate on the surface of Lathe and in the skies of Lathe because Lathe has an air-breathing atmosphere, I think, in this version. I'm not 100% sure about that. So we are going to see if that works out. I think I want to shift the wings a little bit. I have not tested this out yet. Um, I did bring it outside uh, to make sure it didn't fall apart immediately, but I haven't done uh, an orbital test with it. So the goal is that this should take off from the runway. Uh, these are just whiplashes in the back, four of them, and they have the air intakes. And they will get us to a decent speed and height so that the swerve is at its full efficiency and then the swerve will take over and bring us to orbit so we're not using the rapiers because i didn't want to carry any oxidizer it is an oxidizer free space plane and we have the docking port up here because that was the best fit for the station uh, the station mainly has large docking ports not the 2.5 meter ones and actually no 1.25 meter ones so it has 2.5 meter docking ports only in a particular location and if we try to dock this uh and have the docking port at the center, it's not going to work out. It needs it uh, up front here, which is not great for the RCS balance because we've got the thrusters in the back there and thrusters here, and it's not going to be very well balanced at all. But yeah, we it'll, it'll have to work out for now. Uh, but we could add an adapter module to the station so that it can have the docking port at the center, and that would be better. Right now, there's a center mass, center lift. Um, I've checked uh, when the fuel all drains, the center mass tends to go further back, but it doesn't cross the center of lift. So uh, we should be good on that, assuming all things are correct. Um, that's not a guarantee. I'm going to uh, limit stuff here, and I'm doing that so you can see. So that's just pitch up there. This will be pitch and roll. I think it's far enough back from the center of mass to be able to do pitch. And here on the transitions, we will only have yaw. And we'll see how that works. The canards are all moving. Oh, it's dark here. Um, uh, well, it's bouncy. I should have changed the suspension on the landing gear. Uh, let, let's just revert and then I'll time warp uh, in the Space Center screen. Let's just max those. All right. Oh, we had a wing randomly fall off this time. Okay, well, it's intact this time and it's daylight, so we can go. Let's try it. So, SAS is on. Bob Kerman, as it turns out. Okay, we're off at uh, about 70 meters per second. So landing speed when it's empty should be less than that. But then again, the atmosphere of leaf is a little bit different. With a weird docking port in front, it's probably got a lot of drag. There's a lot of sources of drag on here, potentially. Yeah, we have maybe have too much methane, but we can just burn it off and see above the clouds. Nice fluffy clouds. I would like to reserve some of the methane for getting off the ground at lathe. We could always use a swerve for that, but that's not quite as efficient. Yep, the whiplashes are doing a fine job so far. This is just a crew transport, I mean, we don't have any cargo or anything, so... It's fairly bulky for such a modest purpose. Okay, we're, uh... Slowing down here. We're slowing down just shy of Mach 3. I want to burn off a little bit of the fuel, though. Oh, those are interesting lines. Like, why would they be going in that direction? It's not like we're in freefall or anything. Well, they certainly like it a little bit lower than 20 kilometers. Thousand meters per second now. But it still wants to go down a bit. 
Okay, but they're not getting as much air. You know what? I'm just going to try and make orbit with the whiplashes. We're carrying too much methane, but we'll see how that goes. Alright. Uh, swerve time. The swerve may or may not be overburdened at this point. We'll see. In other words, its thrust weight ratio might not be high enough. We'll find out. We gotta turn off the whiplashes. Oh, I thought that was gonna turn them off. I had action group them, but maybe that uh, that was a different save craft file. Hopefully, they won't turn off asymmetrically or anything. Well, nope, they seem to be all off at the same time there. Our time to wap wapsis is going up, so we're okay. We do have that big hydrogen tank at the station, so this is one thing that could refuel if we get there. <laughs> right. I've totally ignored the engine clusters that we tried to get back. They ended up in a bad orbit. We're just going to leave them. Okay. We've got a hundred kilometer apoapsis and we'll just coast. Okay, good enough. Alright, 103 by 89. And we are in orbit with 4,661 meters per second and we'd have more if we weren't carrying 9 tons of methane. So, yeah, we're pretty well off here. Got solar panels. I don't think we need them, but we have them. Uh, I don't know if they would provide enough power from Joule given how far away from the sun they are, uh, it is, but, uh, or they will be. But anyway, we'll set that aside for now. We do have Bob here. Okay, that'll be our initial approach, and then we'll do a mid-course correction. Um, SAS isn't doing a whole lot to stop this from rotating, is it? I should have act, uh, added a reaction wheel. The Conkatoo's reaction wheel doesn't seem to work. That uh, is just an uh, observation. Uh, it's just keeping on rotating. Well, I guess I can use time more to try and stop it, but we'll see whether there's some sort of... Rotational issue. Phantom forces. Should just turn to the node. Uh, it just did not stay at the node at all. Can it stop itself at all? Please stop. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take SAS off and just manually control it. Okay, there we go. Gosh. Do you suppose SAS can hold it now? Uh, no, no, I don't trust it. <laughs> Get rid of that. Okay, we have entry into Jules SOI there. Let me just take that for now. 106 meters per second is not too bad if that's what we get. As far as bringing the space plane back, of course, we know that coming back from Jules SOI is not reliable, so we won't. This will just be at lathe. And it'll go up to the station and go back down to the surface without crossing SOI boundaries. Later on, if we get ISRU capabilities, I would like to fit that sort of thing on here. Um, we do have 2,510 right now. So, and again, we're carrying 9 tons of methane. So the way I figure it is that we do have some extra capacity, because I don't think we're going to need 2,500 in order to get to our lathe station. In a pinch, we could error break at lathe, but I don't think we need to do that in this case. But ultimately, we have enough so that I should be able to fit an ISRU unit and drills and that sort of thing onto something like this, and it would be able to refuel itself on the surface of lathe is the goal. So that way we won't need the fuel at the station for it. Okay, we are proceeding outward to our mid-course correction. Okay, a little bit late, but let's see if SAS can handle this one. 
No, it's still overshot it. Yeah, I mean, I can control it. I, I stopped that. It was gonna deviate completely. Uh, that burn timer is not going the way I need it to. Okay. Uh, we don't seem to have an encounter anymore. We had an encounter before. Well, uh, I think we overdid it. Uh, we're crashing into Jewel. Um, but we'll create that when we get there. It's too touchy right now. Alright, let's just go. Alright, we have arrived in Jewel SOI with our space plane and we just need to pull away from Jewel a little bit for starters. I'll, I'll let SAS try to turn to that. It's not too far away. 1,500 kilometers. I'll take that. We'll, we'll capture low around Jewel instead of trying for the Lathe encounter directly or anything like that. So, let us proceed with that. Okay, here we go. Well, we're pretty close to just being aimed that retrograde anyway. I'll leave SAS on, but just manually tweak it here. And we've captured, and I'll take that for now. Right, now we want to finagle a rendezvous with Lathe. And then we'll correct the inclination at the ascending node, but we won't plot that yet. Just 102 at Apoapsis, but it's in 39 days. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, so we'll have a tangency there. Just like that, and 0.1 degrees is what we get there. So 91 meters per second in 18 days. Oh, uh, don't follow it, don't follow it. I wonder if it can go to prograde. Maybe it's just maneuver nodes that it's messed up with. Maybe it can... No, it's not actually going in the direction of prograde. <laughs> oh, no, forget it. Forget it. Okay. Almost single tangency there. Okay. Uh, I lost it. Docking with the station with this RCS configuration is going to be interesting. Really, Leaf should be our target, right? Yeah, it is our target. It's really not showing any encounter like that? Seems strange to me. Maybe I should reset it. Let's set Jewel as our target. Hmm, not helping. Alright, uh, let me go turn to retrograde and just bring the orbit down manually a little bit. See if that helps. We only have a 0.1 degree inclination difference, and that periapsis looks like it's really close to the orbit, so there should be some sort of indication somehow. Well, I don't know what I need to do to convince it to show me an encounter over here, but we'll just go around. Well, that's a zero inclination difference. Let me just try and bring it down a little bit. At some point we have to cross Leif's orbit. <laughs> We're just a tiny, tiny bit too high. Okay. Well, there's something. Alright, we'll go with that. Well, we will have to dock to the station in order to get fuel. Okay, I'll just go with when 2A and 2B are close. Ah, okay. RCS does seem to turn us around quite a lot, though. Okay, uh, I'll take that much. Well, we seem to have an impact. Yeah, I don't know about the RCS. It's It seems to rotate us quite a lot. I might have to tune the back ones down quite a bit. I, it shouldn't when we're controlling from this direction, though. It's not like we're controlling from the docking port, so I don't know. 
I was just firing front and back. It's gotta be worse when we're controlling from the docking port. Oh, that's very crashy. Okay. The fact that it never shows me the encounter properly before we arrive costs us extra Delta V when we get here and find that we're crashing. Okay, not a whole lot of Delta V left. I think that keeps us out of Leif's atmosphere. I think it's 50 kilometers. Okay, we do want combined 13 as our target. And we're gonna have some inclination to deal with. But we don't currently know how much. Okay, here we are. Capturing. Okay, 12... Oops. Oops. 12.2 degrees. Okay, well, we'll have some encounter somewhere. Okay, well, there's an encounter that's really close there. Okay, not as close as I thought, but... Well, I'll just take that for now. Still, relative speed 571. We have just enough Delta V here. Okay, inside render range. We really need to slow down more, though. Delta V-wise, we do not have much. And I'm worried about the RCS, too. Look at that, look at that. No, oh, come on. Okay, well, I don't know where that 4.1 meter per second is right now. I'll have to find that. Okay, as long as we're not bumping into it or anything. Okay, 0.1 meters per second. All right, we're on this side. We're gonna retract these solar panels for sure. And over on the other side, uh, the docking port is here. Yeah, that's the one facing the space plane, so we're going to retract these. Well, control from here, low docking acquiring force. And, okay, wait, wait, wait. That one. Okay, low docking acquiring force, set as target. Okay. Well, all right. Um, oh, uh, stay stable. Just stop. Don't rotate. Uh, I don't want it to rotate at all. And it's rotating. The, um, it was actually in a better orientation already. What happened to the station's lights? Maybe turn them off. Okay. Activating RCS now. And... Oh gosh, it's turning us. Uh, it, it's like... No, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm gonna take SAS off. Something's counter-steering if with SAS off. I'm not telling it to do this. Stabilizing. Or trying to stabilize. Why is that? I mean, if SAS is off, it shouldn't even do that, right? It's no throttle. I mean, when I say stabilizing, it's I don't think it's stabilizing. I think it's just firing the RCS thrusters for no reason. So, not exactly what I want to have happen. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pause it right here and save. And I don't know if it's safe to try and dock this to the station right now. I don't feel like we have sufficient authority. I think we might have enough Delta V to deorbit this, maybe, and try and get into Leif's atmosphere and try and land it on Leif or splash down, I don't know. Or fly it around. Um, that might be a better prospect right now than trying to 
rendezvous with the station. Because this seems like it has control problems. I can't keep it steady. So Bob is going to be stranded on the surface of Lath. Uh, maybe, if we can get this done. Can we... Do we have enough mod propellant to do this? And Delta V. Okay, RCS is off. So what I think is we'll have to add some reaction wheels to this to make it work out if we want to dock to the station. And maybe we'll have the adapter module so we can put the docking port at the center. And I'll reconsider the RCS arrangement, but that's all I've got. I might want to disable the ports in the back since they're not as symmetrical. One way or another, Bob is going to need rescuing here. You know what? Uh, I'm going to abandon this, have Bob EVA, and try to get himself over to the station. How far away is this? No, the station is not too far away. Let's just do that. Do it. Alright. Alright, Bob. I, I don't know. I haven't done too many EVAs in this version. And I certainly haven't done an EVA like this. How much Delta V do they have these days? Why? Well, no. Um, okay, look, th look this way. Shoot. Wasted a bit just trying to turn. Okay. We should be going towards the station at 5 meters per second. Uh, which isn't fast enough, probably. So, more please. And we absolutely do not want to time warp anywhere near all of this. But I did time warp when trying to stabilize our space plane, so that's a problem. The rate at which the orbit is changing has caught me off guard. I should have probably just plotted a rendezvous instead of doing it this way. Yeah. <laughs> It's behind us. Maybe we should just go forward in our orbit and try to intercept it as if we're... We should have done that in the first place. We were too far away to do it the brute force method. Wow, we're going towards it pretty fast. Um, but we don't have much mob propellant. I think we should just uh, save the mob propellant so that we can rescue Bob eventually. I, I don't Think. We're just gonna leave him in orbit. <laughs> this is a bad situation. We'll send another space plane to try and grab Bob, and hopefully it'll be a better space plane. But for now, Bob is stranded in orbit around Lath, and we'll we'll deal with that. Uh, this is the sort of thing that should happen. Bob is uh, no, he's confused. But anyway, yes, I'm just gonna leave it here for now, and we now have some very. <laughs> it's just, I guess he's singing. Anyway, uh, some very concrete things to get done here. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.